Let's connect the TP-Link RE200 extender to the Wi-Fi router. Uh, before you start, make sure that your router is connected to the internet and broadcasting Wi-Fi right now. And then check the LED lights on your extender. Uh, the power LED and Wi-Fi LED sh should glow green and not blinking. And then you can start. Uh, first, check for your networks. So what I have here, uh, I have manual steam 5 gigahertz band. This is the band of my router and I have two bands for the extender 2.4G and 2.5G. Remember this for future, it's important. Later I will explain you everything. And now uh, let's perform just simple action. Find the WPS button on your router. Usually it's on the back panel and it's labeled as WPS. You will easily find it. Press this button on the router and press the diamond button on the extender within two minutes. And just you just now you just need to wait. That's it. Now let's check our connection. Let's take our smartphone and refresh. TP-Link extender networks are disappearing. And I'll explain you why. This is because uh, when you connect in via WPS, uh, you automatically connect it to the one mesh network. It means you don't have to connect your gadgets separately to the extender. You will connect it to the global network that covers all the range of the uh, extender and rotor together. So this is like uniform Wi-Fi network and it's, it's very convenient to me. Uh, so now enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and be awesome. Bye guys.